It's a holiday tradition without joy. Years ago, an Aurora police detective made a promise, and each year around this time, he follows through on it. Here's 9 News crime and justice reporter Matt Jablo. Over the course of its 71 year history, the Aurora Police Department has had five officers killed in the line of duty. The first in 1981, the most recent in 2007. Detective Michael Thrapp worked alongside four of the officers. Today, he once again kept his promise never to forget. These are days that make you understand that you're human uh, and fallible. A 38 year veteran of the department, Detective Thrapp was joined today by several other Aurora police officers, both current and retired, placing holiday wreaths at the sites where the five officers were killed. These are days that remind you why you do the job. They started doing it about 10 years ago, not long after officer Doug Byrne was killed in a car accident while responding to a call for a medical emergency. Detective Thrapp says he still vividly remembers the days that each of his fallen colleagues was killed. He was especially close to Agent Edward Hokum. He loved to come to work. He loved to brag about his two sons. Who was shot to death in September of 1987 after confronting an armed robber. A few minutes after Hokum was shot and after a car chase that ended on I-270, the gunman was arrested, thanks in large part to Detective Thrapp. I saw the vehicle. Uh, I ended up crashing into the suspect's truck. The suspect was arrested and taken into custody at that point uh, and was later convicted. But on this day of remembrance, Detective Thrapp was quick to shift the focus away from his role in catching a killer and towards what he calls the great sacrifices his fallen colleagues made serving the city of Aurora. Sacrifices that Detective Thrapp says should serve as a reminder to everyone who wears a badge. Every day they go out in their uniform, days like this do remind you that you might not go home that night. For next, I'm Matt Jablow. Detective Thrapp says he is still in touch with some family members of the fallen colleagues. Unfortunately, they were not able to make it to this year's ceremony.